Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Outriders World Slayers video. Well, it occurred to me every time that I go on to Reddit, there is always plenty of posts about people posting their amazing weapons that they got. So in today's video, I'm going to go over God Roll weapons. What exactly is a God Roll weapon? We're going to go over some of my rolls and you're going to tell me if indeed these are God Roll weapons. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and let's get started. Now, like I said, every time I go on Reddit, you see plenty of posts of amazing weapons. Some good, some not so much, but what exactly is a god roll? Well, that's what today's video is about. Now, I have plenty of drops since the launch and all the way up to right now. They just don't drop like they used to. Okay, now to me, a god roll weapon, it has to have amazing rolls. And on top of that, stats has to be really high. For example, this is me completing a trial, right? And I got a Damascus Offering drop. Amazing, because it comes with Anomaly Enhancement. The roll is pretty fantastic. But the damage, not so much. 813. Here is a Damascus Offering that I rock with. One of my weapons that's pretty cool. Noxus Spawns. Anomaly Enhancement, which is always going to roll with Mage Rage. Now, of course, there's a lot of people out there with modern weapons. These are all going to be static rolls that you're going to see. But some freaking amazing rolls. Like my Sherlock's, right? It dropped with Sandstorm. I threw Firestorm on there with a little bit of burn with those bullets. And all of a sudden, you have yourself a burning status weapon that is absolutely fantastic. And it dropped at 1.1 million on the damage. Same thing with this Moten Idola. What do you think? Is this a god roll? Right? First off, the damage is just ridiculous. 969. Singularity. Firestorm I threw on that bad boy with Raven Locust. Once again, a status monster. Right, here's another weapon that I decided to keep. Not sure exactly if it's gonna be fantastic as far as the damage is concerned at 75. But it did drop with Fortress. Anomaly enhancement out there on there with Dark Sacrifice. This is an absolute beast when it dropped. Thunderbird, I got two amazing rolls on there. Let me know if these are God rolls. Now, of course, like I said, this item level 64. Not sure if it's gonna be up there at 75, but Omen is pretty cool. It comes with Stratega and Ultimate Storm Whip. Same thing with this one that I got, but oh boy, this one dropped with Shadow Comet. Now, when I first got this, I was playing around with it with a whole bunch of different mods. No matter what you put on there, accompanying this with Storm and Comet Drop, mwah, think that's a god roll. Just hope the damage is up there at 75, right? Absolute zero, you don't really see too many of these out there, but this one is pretty cool. Drop with Dark Sacrifice, I threw on Anomaly Enhancement, of course, you know, you want to freeze lots of enemies with this weapon and at 910 damage i thought it was pretty fantastic that's why i decided to keep it the charred lands i got two of these let me know if you think these are god rolls right string of gods firestorm and death ray right through on firestorm right there it comes static with death ray but this one that i got is absolutely amazing as you can see it's all static right it dropped with mage rage Resistance Breaker, which you always probably want to swap out in Death Ray. So you throw an Anomaly Enhancement with that, and boom, you have yourself an amazing weapon. Next up here is a Torture that I decided to keep. Item level 64, not now. Still not up there at 75, but it did drop with Firestorm, which is one of my favorite mods. I also have Vulnerability Bullets, I probably want to swap that out, and Flush Renderer. Not bad, and not bad at all. Now, of course, I have plenty of weapons that didn't make the cut, right? This one I want to show you because it is amazing on a damage. This don't drop like this, right? It's very hard to get yourself a drop that's over a million damage. This one is. Of course, Anomaly Surge can be a whole lot better, but it comes static with Anomaly Enhancement. Throw on Mage Rage, and you got yourself an amazing sniper rifle. Now, here's another one at item level 75, but the damage is at 954. Not a million, but did it come with Slashing Twister? Another amazing roll. Here's another LMG, the Reaper. Now, not one of my favorite weapons, but it did drop with Wrath, a Mullet, Death Chains 2, and Weakness, something that you can probably work around a build with. So I decided to throw that in here. I thought it was a fantastic roll. I'm not sure if it's a god roll, but the Roaring Umbra, this one right here was absolutely fantastic. With Anomaly and Half-Sweet Major Raging Kinetic Style, when it dropped for me, dude, it was a godsend. And here's another one. This one with Fortress. Firestorm, Kinetic Style. Throwing all three of these together, make this another fantastic weapon when it dropped for me. 
not bad, not bad at all. Now, I had a plenty of employers. This is the best version that I got to drop. This one, all static, right? It comes with Anomaly Surge, Deadly Disturbance, and it dropped with Wrath of Molek. So you probably wanna swap out Anomaly Surge right there and throwing in whatever what you want. But uh, at 959, out in level 75, not bad. Now this is an Inferno Seed. There's still a skin on this bad boy. This one is so much fun. One of my most favorite weapons to play with. This one dropped with Ultimate Storm Whip. I throw on Firestorm with Wrath of Molek, and all of a sudden you got yourself a status beast of a weapon for sure. Here's another one, but item level 57. And this one dropped with Stigmatize. Threw on Firestorm Wrath of Molek. Another fun weapon when it dropped for me. I think that one is a god roll for sure, right? We got Icarus up next. And this one was absolutely fantastic because it dropped with Mage Rage. I threw on Firestorm. Of course, I had Anomaly. I had some of there as well playing with it. But it's just so much fun with this. It's an amazing build. I think that one is a god roll for sure. Very hard to get an Amber drop to drop all of a sudden. But um, this one dropped with Omen, which is pretty cool. The damage is pretty sweet at 962. Like I said, it's very hard to get all the mods together on top of the damage being there. So this is one that I decided to keep. The final pennants, I've had a few of these to drop. This is very hard to get, right? Because it comes with Anomaly and Hassan and Maze Race makes it fantastic. This one dropped with Judgment Enforcer and the damage is at 979. I was like, I'll take it. It's very hard to get everything to drop on the same page, right? Sunfall is an amazing SMG. This one almost dropped at 1 million damage, right? It came with Dark Sacrifice. Got Firestorm on there. I threw an Anomaly and Hassan played around with it. Any of mods you can put on there was absolutely fantastic. Emerald Chaos, I legit only got four of these to drop. That's it. And this was one of them. This one, item level 57, I had to keep it. Came with Sandstorm on that bad boy. I threw on Firestorm and Notch Spawns. Absolutely fantastic LMG. Now the Juggler is another weapon that I thought I wanted to throw in there. Mage Rage Anomaly Enhancement with Skip Grenade. Right, Skip Grenade is kind of a throw in my depending on your build, but Mage Rage dropped on this and with Anomaly Enhancement was absolutely fantastic when it dropped at idle level 61. Now this air to the desert was absolutely amazing. Drop with Wrath of Mole, I throw on Firestorm, and now you have Sandstorm. Absolutely status monster, and it was absolutely fun to play with when it dropped. To me, this is a guy roll. You let me know if this is a guy roll. Now before we get up out of here, we have some amazing shotguns to show you. This is gonna be my death shield at item level 65. Drop with Noxious Spawn. Comes to come static with Striga and Fortress. And here's another one. This one dropped at 1 million damage. So you know I had to keep it. And it had some burning bullets on there as well. The one anomaly it has been. It was definitely something that I could work around with. This Enoch Blessing, absolutely amazing. Mage Rage, Anomaly Enhancement, and Life and Death. Definitely gonna keep you alive. It dropped for me early on, and it was absolutely fantastic to play with. And this one, it is extremely hard to get. The Evening Star, and this one dropped for me with all static. Anomaly Enhancement, Death Chains, and Death Nadrome. Depending on what you wanna swap out, swap it out. Anomaly Effigy, pretty sweet. At item level 56, came with Omen, Storm, Whip and Concentrated Blast, all static. Thought that was an amazing roll as well. Like I said, there's a lot of weapons that didn't make the cut, but hey, I wanted to show you some amazing rolls, some god rolls, some fantastic rolls. Always see those on Reddit, and I decided, you know what, let me show you exactly what I got. You let me know down below if this is indeed what you would consider a god roll. For me, has to have the damage, has to have the mods on there as well. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome, don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Game and upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.